So growing up, I've always been in church. Uh, my family, we've always gone to church, been in that. So faith to me is, is everything. The reason I'm able to do what I do is because of my faith, is because of Jesus. Um, and it is so evident, you come out here on these lakes, you look around and it's like, man, you know, everything's so serene, it's so perfect, it's so, you know, there's an order to it all. Um, so you know there's got to be a creator there. So I grew up in Blairsville, Georgia. Um, lived up there my whole life. A little small town up in the mountains. There's a McDonald's, a, a bank, and an Ingalls, and a Walmart. Uh, pretty much all there is, but it's, it's an awesome little town. Uh, super close, tight-knit community. Got into high school tournament fishing when I was 17 and fished college at Young Harris College and then made the jump this year to the NPFL. It has been amazing and it's been a true blessing. I'm very grateful, but this year has just been a whirlwind of a season. I want my story to be an inspiration for, for a lot of you younger guys especially. Coming into this year, no expectations. I just wanted to, to prove to myself and others that I could do it. You know, a lot of naysayers, a lot of negativity. Um, but I just want to be that success story that you see that, you know, these young guys can succeed. Hard work, dedication, and especially faith makes it all possible. I'm Will Harkins, and this is my story. So I grew up in Blairsville, Georgia. Um, lived up there my whole life. A little small town up in the mountains. There's a McDonald's, a, a bank, and an Ingalls, and a Walmart. Uh, pretty much all there is, but it's, it's an awesome little town, uh, super close, tight-knit community. Um, they said, I've, I've grown up there, fished Lake Notley, Chateau, everywhere around through there. So my grandpa really got me into fishing. He took me out the first time I was ever on the lake when I was three. Uh, he took me out. It was, I still remember that day. It, it was raining. We had a poncho on. It was, it was my first real experience on the lake. My immediate family, we don't really fish a whole lot, more, you know, bird hunting, things like that. Uh, my grandpa was, is really just grown up fishing. And really what made me is, is the Thursday Old Man Pot Tournaments. Uh, he started these 30 years ago. So every Thursday we go out on Nolly, uh, fish against a group of guys. Um, and so that's really kind of started my competitive desire for fishing. So I've just grown up, fished with him uh, my whole life. Got into high school tournament fishing when I was 17. Um, and then kind of worked my way up to and fished college at Young Harris College and then made the jump this year to the NPFL. So this year has been everything and more that I could have ever dreamed of. Um, it, I, I came into this year no expectations but to to just be in this atmosphere most of all with these people uh, it has been it has been amazing and it's been a true blessing I'm very grateful. You know we started off we had two uh, two rough events but then we kind of kicked it on there at the end and it's just the support from everyone, from the ownership to the anglers, it's been truly amazing. So we're on the road a lot uh, this season. I, and I could not have done any of this without my support group. My dad, he travels everywhere with me, uh, hauls the truck and boat uh, for me, all these events. He's up at 5 a.m., he's out there at 9 p.m. Um, helping me with everything. My mom travels, my sister, uh, she's 12, so she's she loves traveling with us. and. Uh, just having that support, you could not do it without that support and that family. Um, it just makes everything 10 times easier knowing that you have someone who, who's there for you. Coming into this season, you know, 22 years old, definitely faced a lot of challenges. I had a lot of naysayers and why, you know, this is too big, this is over your head, uh, too big. You know, you're young, take your time, work through some of this local stuff. Yeah, I just wanted to prove them wrong. You know, come out here and, and actually be able to do it and to compete at this level uh, was my entire goal this year. So that, that really kind of lit a fire in me um, to go out here and do it, um, to kind of prove myself basically and prove to me that I, I, could, I could compete at this level. So growing up, I've always been in church. Uh, my family, we've always gone to church, been in that. So. Faith to me is, is everything. Um, you know, I, I couldn't come out here and fish without it. I couldn't do anything in life without it. Um, I'm a big believer in 
the opportunities and the doors will open when it's when it's your time when God allows the reason I'm able to do what I do is because of my faith is because of Jesus um, and it is so evident you come out here on these lakes you look around and it's like man you know everything's so serene it's so perfect it's so you know there's an order to it all um, so you know there's got to be a creator there um, and so coming out here is just a way to see that and you know to relieve that stress and get it off your mind and just enjoy um, what this place has to offer what you know what the lakes what the beauty is um, because it is so much bigger than any one person or one thing it's just one of those things it's almost a stress reliever you come out here you get to see the beauty the creation um, I mean there's no place like it on the lake um, and fishing is constantly evolving and constantly changing so you it's new every time you go out there um, you know it's not running up and down a football field with the same 20 plays you know it's there's just thousands of variables that go into fishing and it's it's like it's just like a big puzzle having that faith and having I mean on my boat God's got this all year on there it just gives me a hope and knowing that no matter what happens no matter you know win lose draw everything that comes your way um, there's always a hope there there's always a plan and a purpose so it allows you to just overcome these obstacles with ease um, and not not get hung up and you know getting yourself down but know that hey there's a bigger plan to this just keep on going um, and so that's really uh, just been my mentality this whole year so when I'm not not on the lake um, I mainly work with my dad uh, construction home management he's got a couple of companies there um, so that kind of helps fund the season for me um, so that kind of takes up a lot of my time um, and then when I'm not doing that I'm, I'm fishing or doing church community events um, no parties, no, nothing like that for uh, college kids, but uh, yeah, just having fun, being on the water as much as possible. But uh, let's say when I'm not, it's definitely a lot of family time and, and work. So when I grow up, uh, I would love to just, just keep fishing. I mean, I, I've, I don't know of anything else. Yeah, this has always been, been a dream of mine to be in the industry somehow. I want my story to be an inspiration for, for a lot of you younger guys, especially coming into this year no expectations i just wanted to to prove to myself and others that i could do it but i just want to be that success story that you see that you know these young guys can succeed hard work dedication and especially faith makes it all possible i mean chase your dreams you know do what they say is impossible you've got to be able to put in the work um, and just be out there when others won't and like i said just just go for it you know you never know how it turns out without taking those risks and taking those steps